If you were learning how to skate in the late 90s or early 2000s, you eventually ran into a weird trick called a hard flip. It sounds cool, but nobody really knew what it was. The name isn't very descriptive, pro skate videos weren't easy to come by, and photos in magazines didn't really help much either. Like, what is this? A board could be doing anything. Let's have Tony Hawk, circa 2001, explain the trick. Hard flips, they just have kind of a cool name, so we thought we'd throw them in here and everyone wants to know, can you do a hard flip even though they don't know what it is? Well, it is a front side 180 kick flip, but your body stays in one place, so basically it's a front side varial kick flip. Boom, or it goes like that, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can flip it straight over and it looks sort of like a crooked like a pop shove it, and some people do it like that, some top pros do it like that, and that's okay. So it's a frontside varial kickflip, but it goes vertical sometimes? If you started skateboarding in the early 90s, there would have been no confusion. Back in the 1992 World Industries video Love Child, Daywon Song lands the first ever recorded hard flip as his ender. It's clearly a frontside shove it and a kickflip at the same time. For years, in the tiny wheels, big pants era of the early 90s, Pro skaters were perfectly content bouncing tricks off the ground and doing tricks on curbs. But after a few years, more modern street skating started to develop, with bigger gaps, higher ledges, and more pop in general. One of the tricks most transformed during this time was the hard flip. Adding pop to a hard flip meant changing how it was done for a lot of skaters. They would mob straight down and pull their foot out of the way. That doesn't really work with pop though. Flicking a hard flip is easier the more vertical the board gets because it doesn't travel as much in the direction of your foot. Like any new style, they got exaggerated more and more until they became what we now call illusion flips, and some people call them Muska flips after Chad Muska. Chad Muska did frontside flips and hard flips completely vertical, and he was a big influence on the Tony Hawk games. Not only is he in them, but some of the levels feature spots that he made famous in his video parts. This takes us into video games. The best example of hard flip confusion is in the game Grind Session from 2000. A hard flip of the end over end, almost pop show it variety, is a default trick for all the characters. But you can unlock a front side kick flip burial, which is, of course, also a hard flip. The front side flips are the same. You can do a 180 and a kick flip, of course, but the game has a front side flip built in as its own trick. If you look close, the board doesn't even flip, it's like a 180 no foot. So according to this game, hard flips and frontside varial kickflips are separate tricks. And a frontside 180 with a kickflip is not the same as a frontside flip either. Anyone who had been following skateboarding for a few years would understand what was going on, but new skaters at the time would be easily misled. Of course, it's unlikely Grind Session added much to the confusion, because it wasn't a hugely popular game. The game that was very popular, of course, is the Tony Hawk series. Over the lifetime of the series, it sold tens of millions of copies, and inspired untold multitudes of kids to start skating, myself included. Most of your favorite pros these days probably grew up playing the Tony Hawk games. Let's see what they learned. For regular and nollie hard flips, the board goes completely vertical, but the skater's popping foot actually looks like it scoops backside a little bit. The rule I learned as a kid, if it means anything, is that it's a hard flip if the board goes between your legs, but that would require your back foot to be in front of the board, but in Tony Hawk it's behind the board. But that's only the start of the confusion. There are several special tricks with hard flips involved. The first one is Private Carrera's The Well Hard Flip. It's hard to imagine what they were going for with this, but it looks kind of like a front foot feather flip. The only thing it has in common with hard flips is that it's vertical. I think the developers just made up a trick, and since it goes vertical, they slapped hard flip in the name. Another weird thing about Private Carrera is that her regular hard flips are called varials. I think that's just a glitch with her being a skin of Officer Dick but it doesn't help with the confusion. The next one is Jeff Rowley's double hard flip. Now what this should be is a front side shove it with a double kick flip. Let's see. When playing the game, it's almost impossible to tell exactly what's going on, but in the replay angles, you can see how weird it really is. 
It flips forward, not backward, and it flips 540 vertically. It's nothing like a hard flip, but again, it was probably named that just because it's vertical. The next special is Andrew Reynolds' hard flip late flip. It looks just like the normal one, so that isn't too helpful. Last is Kareem Campbell's Ghetto Bird. This actually has some promise. If you look very closely, it almost looks like a real hard flip. It's hard to tell, but it doesn't flip completely vertical. But that's offset by the fact that it's a nollie trick that you can ollie into. So if you think about it, it's more like a forward flip than a hard flip anyway, at best. So you can see why there is some confusion. Hard flips can go backward, forward, spin extra, the only common trait in the hard flip variations for the game is that they are vertical. That seems like the only real rule here, and it's wrong. But there is a way to do legitimate hard flips in the Tony Hawk games. Sort of. Make sure your character has either sex change or body variable assigned. It's the same trick, but different versions of the game use different names for it. Probably a weird censorship issue. Anyway, a sex change is a kickflip with a backside body variable. So if you do a frontside 180 sex change, your character's body will stay straight and the board will do a frontside varial kickflip. It looks a little weird because you're canceling out the body spin, but it's pretty satisfying. I used to do these all the time back in the day. So what games get it right? Let's take a look. Here's Thrasher's Skate and Destroy, vertical. X Games Skateboarding, vertical and weird. Then there's just plain weird, like Evolution Skateboarding. If you look really close, you can tell it's a pop shove it under flip. The shove it is nearly vertical, but still backside, and then it flips when his back foot comes back. Very weird. Same with MTV Skateboarding. If you watch really closely, which is hard with all the screen tearing, you can see that the board is spinning backside and flipping like a kickflip, except the back foot is flying out forward. It looks like a really flat forward flip. In Pro Skater 3, 360 hard flips are introduced as a special trick. By Pro Skater 4, they're downgraded to a default trick. It's actually animated correctly, and it should be an obvious hint as to how the regular hard flip should look. Wait, let's take a second look at that. Oh, come on! No, it's not animated correctly at all. That's clearly a laser flip. I don't know why it was so hard for these guys to understand the concept of a simple hard flip. And they stubbornly kept hard flips vertical all the way through that generation and the next generation too. People didn't even do them like that anymore. That style was 10 years old or more. It almost seems like vertical hard flips became part of the Tony Hawk brand and they couldn't bear to get rid of them. I can't think of any other reason. Of course, when Skate came out for PS3 and 360 in 2008, it fixed that issue. Sean White skateboarding from 2010 also had decent looking hard flips. Back in the day, a lot of us learned tricks from video games. You might see a pro do a trick in a video, but it was a low quality VHS tape and maybe the angle wasn't right and you couldn't see the feed or maybe the perspective kind of messed with it. But with video games, you could do a trick over and over. You could do it spinning in the air or you could watch a replay to get different angles. It just worked better. Thinking back, nobody I knew could do hard flips back then. One time I was playing a game of skate with a kid, and he did a pressure flip, and he called it a hard flip. There were a bunch of other skaters hanging out and watching, and nobody even questioned him. I just wonder where hard flips would be if the Tony Hawk games actually did them justice. People are starting to do 360 and double hard flips more nowadays, and doing them out of grinds and slides and stuff like that, but maybe this all would have happened five years earlier if we knew better. It's hard to say. And I can't really say that Tony Hawk is responsible for holding back progress in skateboarding when he obviously did so much to promote it. It's just interesting to think that a few game developers in the 90s could have had such far-reaching effects with some bad keyframes in their animation. Well, that's all for this time. In the comments, let me know what you thought about this kind of video. I've been thinking about mixing in history and comparison videos with the normal reviews. This is my first attempt at that. Anyway, until next time.